get started. Over to you, Christine. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to the Cousin DIY Studio. Uh, again, my name is Christine, and I'm going to be your host for today. Um, so today we're going to be making these really cute little fur mama and matching fur baby um, t-shirts and bandanas. If you're a fur mama, um, if you're a baby mama, then we're going to be making these really cute little pink um, matching shirts as well. So there's something for everybody here, whether you're a baby mama, a fur mama. I know lots of fur mamas. I am both fur and baby mama. So um, Laurel, go ahead and get started and we'll go over all of your supplies first. So if we'll go ahead and pan down to this camera, perfect. So for the pink shirt, you're going to need um, obviously the size of the little tiny T. Now this is the Gildan um, brand in the light pink. There's lots of colors to choose from. So if you don't like the pink, please, I mean, feel free to make it your own. So this is a 4T, what we have here. And then for the adult shirt, um, we used the Bella Canvas brand um, since it kind of was the same pink color as our little toddler shirt. Um, and then you'll need the glitter pink iron-ons. You're gonna need two packs of these to do both shirts. Um, and then for time purposes, we've already got them ironed on, but all you'll do is just follow the directions on the back of the um, packaging here. And it's very, very easy. Um, you can also do a Cricut. If you have a Cricut or Silhouette machine at home, um, you can, you know, go crazy and do whatever font you'd like. Um, but this is for, you know, those of us who don't have a Cricut or Silhouette. We just wanted to do something fun for our mamas out there. And then as far as crystals for the pink shirts, you're going to use um, four packs of the Ruby SS12, 16 and 20. It's a really pretty color and it just goes perfectly with these, that pink sparkle iron on. Um, and then this is optional, but we added a little ruffle onto the sleeves of the little toddler shirt. This is just optional, um, but I'll show you at the end how to add this on if this is something you wanna do. And you can do it to both shirts. You don't have to just do it to the toddler shirt. You can do it, I, if, I, if it was me making it, I'm extra, so I would definitely be adding that uh, on that shirt. And then for the fur mama and the fur little baby bandana, you're going to need a black bandana. These are just the plain, um, there's no design on them, no paisley design. These are just the blank, plain cotton bandanas. And then you'll need a black shirt in the size you want. You'll also need two packs of the iron-on transfers. These are the, I believe the collegiate letters um, and these are the black with the white outline. And then for your crystals for this shirt, we're going to use five packs of the SS12 Crystal AB. And that's for the outline um, on the fur portion. And then you're gonna use two packs of the SS16 Crystal AB. And then two packs of the SS20 Rose color. Um, and I just think the Crystal AB like really pops when it's on black. Crystal AB is such a great color. It really picks up any color that it goes with because of the finish on it, um, but it really pops on black. And then last but not least, the most important tools you'll need, you'll need your bead, landle, bead landing crystal radiance glue. This is the best glue. Um, it comes with this position, precision tip pen um, that doesn't make the glue come out too, too fast or too goofy. Um, and this glue is great because it dries clear. So once you put it down, you'll see that it's white, but once it cures and dries, it dries completely clear, which I love about it. And then you'll need these wax tip jewel setters. If you're gonna be doing crystallizing, definitely get you some of these. This will make your life a ton easier. Um, if you're just starting out, I would highly recommend these. And then if you're kind of more advanced at crystallizing, there's a bunch of different other options out there, um, like the Katana, that's really great to use as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Does anybody have any questions before I move on um, regarding um, the supplies of anything?
Yeah. No. Nope. All right. So first things first, um, you will be, we'll start on the pink shirts, um, but the technique of applying the crystals is going to be basically the same. Um, you're going to go ahead and wash and dry your shirts first, and then you'll cut out all of your letters. You'll follow the instructions on the back of the packaging and just iron those on. It's very, very simple. It'll probably take you 10 minutes max to, to get these ironed on. It's, it's very easy. So you'll do that on both of your shirts, your mini and your mama shirt. And then we'll go ahead and we'll open up our 12, 16, 20 ruby packs. And again, you're, you'll be using four packs. Um, and this is just kind of like a sporadic type of pattern to give it um, just a little bit of sparkle. Um, do you have any Rexon aligning letters? So um, how I aligned my letters is I just used a ruler. So I took my ruler and I got the center front of my shirt. Um, and then I took my ruler and I basically laid my ruler here and I just lined my letters up against the ruler. And that's how I did my letters. Um, but I know some people who do a lot of the Cricut or the Silhouette projects, there's actually like a little clear template you can get um, that helps you kind of line things up. But a ruler just works just fine. But that's a great question. Thank you. All right. So now I have my four packs of crystals. What I like to do is I like to start with my SS20 crystals first. And I like to just kind of lay those out and then go back in and fill in with my 16s and my 12s. All right. So you're going to take your glue. And it, again, it comes with this really great tip here. Yeah, an issue. They said there was an echo. I think this volume needs to be turned down. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start by putting little dots of glue sporadically on our letters here. And then we'll go back and we'll add the crystals down. And you don't need a lot, just a little tiny dab of glue will work just fine. And again, there's no pattern. I'm just kind of sporadically placing glue down. And again, I'm going to start with my SS20s, which is the largest size in the pack. Is the volume better now? Checking. Can you have Christine say something so we can really determine if that fixed it? Yes. So now that I've got my glue down, I'm going to go and start adding my SS20s on top of them. All right. So we're just going to gently use our wax tip tool and this helps pick up your flat back crystals you'll want your crystals right side up so this is how they will look in the tray the color will be on the top and you use the wax tip and it just sticks right on to the top of that crystal i highly recommend using these tools and you just will place it right on top of your glue dots that you just made And once you get the hang of it, it actually goes by really quickly, which is, it's nice. Is anyone making this along with us today or are you saving it and then going to come back to it? And you can see this is going really, really fast. This is a really cute little easy project to do. I, when I, my daughter was younger, I loved 
wearing matching little outfits with her. Um, she is almost 17 now and uh, doesn't really like that anymore. Yeah. Rebecca and Gail said they're going to learn and come back. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so is Meg said they have to go get the letters, but they'll save it for later. Very cool. Well, again, it's, it's really, really easy. I mean, it's just, it, it makes something really fun and fashionable for, you know, not a lot of time. And if you, this is something that you could do on, you know, you, you don't have to make this specific wording. You could choose your own wording. If you have a t-shirt, you know, that you already have at home that you want to use, that's a great, great idea. Um, can you please put information about the crystals? Didn't see it amongst the materials that we need to buy. Yes, we can list those for you. Um, our associate Heather is on the chat as well, and she can list those out for you. All right, so now that I have some SS20s down, I'm going to go back in and fill with some SS16s, and then I will go in again and add in my SS12s. So the SS16 is the middle size in the pack of crystals. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to go through and we're going to add some little dots of glue where the holes are in between the SS20 crystals that we just added. And you don't have to use as many of Chris, you know, you don't have to use all four packs if you just wanted to use a pack each, or if you wanted to do more, if you wanted to completely fill in the, um, the letters, you could totally do that as well. It's your preference, you know, make it, make it how you would want it. It's, it's your project. So this is just kind of to give you some inspiration and some ideas of what you can do with flat back crystals. All right, now that I have a little bit more glue, I'm going to go back in with my SS16s, which again is the, the middle size in the package. And we're just going to do the same technique. So we're going to just press with our little wax pickup stick and then place it directly on top of the glue that we placed down. Did anyone see our little model, our our mama and our little baby model that you know had the picture up? I thought they were just the cutest. That's our our friend Sarah and her little girl, and they are so cute together. Yeah, we have a few people that said they saw them. Yeah. Very precious. So where is everybody from? I saw I saw Marilyn, I saw Virginia, I saw an Illinois. Florida, so Florida. Mm -hmm. Virginia, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, Milford, Connecticut, Northern California, North Carolina. Oh, geez. All over. Yeah, we got a good mix. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoy this class. Has anyone taken any of our other classes before? And if so, did you make the projects? If you did make the projects, and even if you make this one, we would love to see it. So make sure to tag us um, on social media, hashtag make it with Michaels, hashtag create with cousin, 
um, and hashtag cousin DIY. We would love to see what you guys make. Kind of the best part. We have a few people. This is their first class and then someone who came to the class before but didn't make it yet. Nice. Yep. Well, welcome, welcome. All right, so I finished adding my SS12 crystals. So same thing, we're gonna go back in with our little blue pen and we're gonna add dots and fill in with our SS12 crystals. And the SS12 is the smallest size that comes in the package. Sorry, my head's in the way. <laughs> And you can kind of see in the picture, like it's it's white when the glue goes down. But again, this glue is great because it will dry completely clear. So if you get a little too much or, you know, it's not going to matter. You're not going to see it once the, dry, the glue dries, which is always really nice. Jasmine said it's her first class and she has twin girls that would love to help her. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I love it. Well, if you end up making these, you definitely have to tag us in the photo because I need to see this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mini one and mini two. <laughs> Cute. There was another one, since you have twins or, you know, or, or any phone that has multiple siblings, you can, I saw the cutest little thing. It said that, um, my squad calls me mama. And then the little shirts, the little girl shirts said squad. They're really <laughs> cute. Mm. All right. So I'm just going back in with my SS12s and filling in the little gaps where I can. And these triangle trays are great. They come with the glue pen. And they make it sorting the crystals and flipping them a lot easier. Heather just listed all of the crystals in the chat for anyone that wants to see those or and all of all of the um, supplies. Thank you, Heather. Flatbacks are great. They're, you can pretty much put them on anything. I've, I've crystallized so many different things. Obviously my favorite thing to crystallize is clothing, um, but I've crystallized many different things, um, silly things that you wouldn't think to do. My husband gets very excited when he finds crystals all over the floor at my house. On our Legos. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on a Lego. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do this next letter here. I'm just going to add in some more glue. Has anyone ever tried crystallizing before? I gotta tell you, once you start, I feel like it, you like, it's so, I don't know, it's so fun to me and relaxing. Satisfying. Satisfying. That's a great word. Yes. A few people, everyone so far says no, they haven't tried it. Well, no one's tried it. Once you try it, you're going to be hooked. I gotta <laughs> tell you. It seems so therapeutic. <laughs> And then when you hear people say, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? And then you can say, oh, I made it. It's like instant gratification. <laughs> One of a kind that nobody else has. All 
right. And just gonna fill in my M here. Ooh. Sorry, my hair keeps getting in the way. Um, someone asked, is this washable? So with anything that's got embellishments on it, I would recommend not putting it in the washing machine. If you do need to put it in the washing machine, I would say put it, you know, turn it inside out, wash it on the delicate cycle. Um, but that's kind of with anything that garment has any kind of embellishments on it. Um, you really want to be careful with the care of it. So you could hand wash it or dry clean it. Um, but again, if it, it is something that you want to put in the washing machine, I would just say turn it inside out and then on the very delicate cycle. Crystal didn't want to get off my stick there. So I know I've kind of moved a little bit fast just for the sake of time. Does anyone have any questions um, as of right now on just the process of gluing or using the, the crystal tool? more in that thing. No questions yet. Well, that's good. Oh. But, oh, yes. When you finish, could you possibly do a close up of the letters? It's hard to see the details. Absolutely. All right. So now that I have um, some crystals down, you can see all and I'll hold it up here. Um, but there's really no pattern. We're just kind of filling it in. Um, and when the light hits it, it's really going to look so cute on. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Speak back down. Yeah. No problem. But it really does give off a lot of sparkle. The, the camera is just not doing it justice, but trust me, um, these are Austrian crystal. These are the best flatback crystals you can get on the market. Um, they are made in Austria and the fire in them, the cuts and the facets, it just, when the light hits it, it's just, it's like no other. So, all right. So we've kind of got our mini portion of the shirt done. Um, we're going to move on to... I'm just going to show you just a little bit on the mama portion, but again, it's going to be the same technique. Dabs of glue. We're going to use our SS21, which is the largest size. Then we go back and fill in. We'll dab some more glue, go back in with our SS16, which is the middle size, and then repeat that for the SS12 process. Hey, Christine. I'm not yes. for sure if Madison is typing, but we can hear her typing through the through the uh, microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to respond uh, to her question. All right. So just for the sake of time, I'm going to move on to the Fur Mama shirt so that we make sure not to leave out all any of our Fur Mamas out there. Um, so again, this is just going to be kind of the same process, although we are going to lay out our crystals a little bit differently than we did on our mama. So on our mama shirt, we kind of did them in like a sporadic type of pattern. Let's see if this one shows up any better. So there was no really pattern. It was just kind of largest to smallest and then filling in. But now on our fur mama, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to outline our letters and then go in the center with some of our larger crystals. So we only did the outline on the fur because we wanted to accent the fur. But if you wanted to go back and do all the letters in that, you totally could. I would say you'd probably need another five to seven packs of the SS12 crystal AB size. Again, 
you do you boo, it's your shirt. So however you wanna make it, you do. All right, so again, for the fur mama and fur baby, we're gonna go in first and we're, we're gonna do the outline of the white on all the letters or on the fur portion of the letters. And we're gonna do that with the SS12 size in the crystal AB. So get my, these I am gonna open up. And again, I just love the, the AB color. It's kind of one of my favorite colors of all of the Austrian crystals, just because it's so useful and so like, it pretty much goes with anything. Like whatever color it's placed against, it really picks up the color in the background. Um, and then especially on the black, it really just pops. But like if you put the crystal AB against pink, or red or blue, it's really the AB coating is going to pick up the color from your background, um, which really makes for a very stunning effect. So on this part, we're going to place our glue along the white outline of the letters. So instead of doing dots like we did on the pink shirts, we're going to just do a line of blue. Could you tap the screen above tap you the screen. to make it a little um, clearer? Just go like with your finger. Okay, you're fine. Good. Okay. Do it one more time in the center. There's a message on it. Hit, I don't know. Hit, um, no. Yeah, perfect. All right, and then tap. No. Let's see. Can I come <laughs> on the screen? Apologies, we're having some te technical difficulties today. Let's see. Well. Once I do a line, I'll scoot it up so you can see it a little bit better. And um, that way, hopefully the camera will maybe focus a little bit better on it. But again, we're only gonna do the outline on the white on the, the fur letters. So you're gonna take your glue pen again, and it has, it's got this great little tip on it. It makes the glue coming out perfect. So chef's kiss on this. So you just wanna squeeze a little bit. And you're just going to follow the line of that first F. And I like to work in small sections on this part because I'm not doing dots. I'm doing full lines of glue. I like to work in smaller sections so that your glue doesn't dry as much. So now that I have my line of glue down, and let me show you, I told you I was going to put it up a little closer so you can see but I have my line of glue just right here on that first part of the F. All right, so I'm going to take my SS12 crystals and my tool like before, and we're going to just start placing them along that glue line. So we're going to start at that top corner of the F and just kind of work our way down. And you can use this side of your, your um, tool here to kind of help you scoop your crystals over. Is anyone making these as gifts or are they, or do you plan on making them for yourself? 
a lot of time I feel like people always get on here and they're like, oh, I'm making it for so-and-so, which is awesome. I would, I would love a handmade gift over a store-bought gift. But I'm always curious. And again, I'm just placing my SS12 Crystal AB crystals along that first glue line that I put down. Okay, so as you can see, I've got that first little part down. And let me pull this up a little further. You can see it. Oh, yeah. So, Very sparkly. So then we'll go ahead and we'll do this top and bottom line now. Robin said, I want to make the fur one for my daughter and mama one for my daughter-in-law for Mother's Day. Aww. Oh, fun. If I can get them done. Oh, you definitely <laughs> can. You definitely can. I have faith in you. Please, 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 if you make them, you have to tag us in it because we want to see these projects. Hashtag make it with Michaels. Hashtag create with cousin. Hashtag cousin DIY. Please, please, please tag us. It's like I said, it's kind of my favorite part to see what people make. So, all right. So I've got another glue line on the top of the F and on the bottom of the F. I'm just going to go back and do the same process. I'm going to take my little wax pickup stick and just go right along those lines that I just made. So uh, just another tip, um, since these are, you are going to be wearing these, you know, and your pup or kitty cat might be wearing these, you want to let these dry and cure for 24 to 48 hours, preferably 48 hours, because that gives the, the glue time to harden and really, really get in all those little nooks and crannies of the crystal. And that's what really makes the crystal hold. So a lot of times, you know, and I'm the same way, I get so excited. I'm like, I want to wear it right now. And then it's only, you know, dried for like an hour. And then that's when you start to have crystals kind of pop off. So really make sure to really let your glue um, cure because that's going to be the key to not having crystals fall off. All right. And I'm going to start on my bottom row here. I really wanted to bring my little dog Roxy in to be the model for the fur baby. Um, but she's a little spicy mm -hmm. and she's a little extra, much like her mother. And I don't think that would have worked out well for any of us, but she's a sweet girl. She's just a little extra. Aren't we all? All right, so I'm going to take my glue. I finished the top and bottom lines, and I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to do this last portion of the F. And you just follow in those lines of those iron-on letters that you did. And then we're just going to go back, and we're going to put our crystals right on top of that glue. have some friends who are fur mamas only and they were like fighting over who was going to get this when it was done so we'll see I think I might have to make a couple more mm -hmm.
Okay. So you'll see, well, let me hold it up a little more so you can actually see. So I got a little bit of glue kind of overflow here, but not to worry, don't freak out. It's going to dry completely clear. So that's kind of just what I wanted to show you because a lot of people are like, oh no, I put too much glue and my it's going to get on my crystal. Totally fine. It's going to dry clear. And what you can do if you do see a little bit of glue on your crystal once it's dry, just go back with um, some warm soapy water and a little cotton swab and you can kind of just wipe off the crystals like that. It's just, it's so easy. So not to panic. All right, so I'm going to continue down my line here. And then please, please feel free to ask any questions um, as we go along. I know you guys have been really great about asking me questions, but I want to make sure that I get everything answered for you and that you can go and make a successful project. What other class, has anyone taken any other classes, like not necessarily crystallizing or have you taken any, I don't know, I think, I think there's jewelry classes and painting classes. There's so many good classes to choose from. Tons, Nancy says. Yeah, that's awesome. Good deal. All right, so we got our F done. Now we're going to move on to our U. Same process. We're just going to take our glue, follow those lines of that, that white outline on your letter. And I do about half of the U. And then I go back and do the other half. Because you don't want your glue to get too dry. Um, because then it doesn't, your crystals don't really want to stick down. So, Robin says she takes jewelry classes and more. Oh, very cool. Yeah, there really are some cool things you can learn to do. I've taken a couple myself, and I'm always like, I'm always so amazed at what people can come up with because I feel like I'm a creative person, but then other people, I see what other people make and I'm like, wow. And again, if you, have a Cricut or a Silhouette machine at home. I mean, you could do whatever you wanted, you know, with iron on vinyl. There's so many great patterns you could do. Um, but if you don't, this is another great option that you can do a customized shirt. You know, you could put names on them, dates on them. So, oh my gosh, how cute would it be if you did a little like newborn onesie and like that was their going home outfit like oh little crystal yeah. so cute that would be so cute <laughs> my mom used to crystallize socks oh, in, in back cute. In the that's precious so, that was our gift I love it robin said she teaches macrame and zen tangle and jewelry um at the senior center i've never heard of zen tangle i know i've never heard of that either <laughs> that sounds really cool though new hobby, I guess. <laughs> Very cool. I love that. All right. So now that we've got kind of, you've got the basic idea of what we're doing for the outline. I'm going to show you how to go in and fill in the center letters now. Let me just finish up this half of this U here. 
And it's basically going to be the same thing. So the t-shirt and then the bandana, you're gonna do the same exact way. And you don't necessarily have to use Crystal AB. You could use whatever color you wanted, you know? Totally up to you. Make it your own. All right, so now I have, you know, two little letters so you can see the outline of that. We're going to go in with our SS20 rose color, and that is going to be filled in in the F, the U, and the R in the center. So grab that. Where did it go? All right, so I have my SS20 rows right here. And this we're going to be dotting the glue on. So I believe I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rose crystals in the F. So we're going to make eight little dots. And I just kind of space them out, um, eyeballing it. Once you get the crystals down, you won't be able to tell if one's kind of up a little bit from the other. So let's see, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. All right. And then again, you're going to take your tool and you're just going to go in and fill in those dots. And again, this is the rose, the SS20 color. It's a real pretty pink color. Uh, Rebecca has to leave, but she says, um, thank you for the great class. She wants to make some family shirts with her seven-year-old for an upcoming Disney trip. Oh, awesome. Please share those pictures and have fun at Disney. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate you coming. All right. So again, we're just placing these in the center on those blue dots. So, and let me hold this up for you so you can see a little bit better. So you can see we've got our outline and the crystal AB, and then we've got the SS20 rows kind of filling in the space in between those. And then I'll do a few more in my U here so you can kind of see a little bit better the idea. And let's see the U I have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11. <laughs> and place those crystals right on top. All right, so that's just filling in with the rows. Now we're going to go back and put in our mama and baby portion using the SS16. And here we're just going to fill in the center. We're not going to do the outline. You can do the outline if you'd like. Um, but for today, we're just going to use the SS16 to fill in the letters um, for mama and baby. So we're just gonna do the same kind of um, dotting with our glue. So you just a little bit of dots of glue and we're just gonna go straight down the center of our M. And again, I'm just eyeballing this. 
And then we're taking our SS16 crystal AB, and we're just going to place those right in our little glue dots. Anyone have any questions so far on this portion of it? Please feel free to ask. Are the letters iron on? Yes, they are. And these, we just used the packs um, that you can buy at Michael's. Um, this is the letters, they're just iron on letters and you cut out the letters you need um, and you just place them on. They have great instructions on how to use on the back. It's super, super easy. Um, so, you know, if you don't have a Cricut or Silhouette machine that you can cut out iron on vinyl with, this is another great option to make like a customized shirt. And there's a lot of great options um, at Michael's for letters. You don't have to use the ones we did. Um, Are you not filling in the white outline of the white on the M for the mama? No, so on the this one, we only did the outline on the F-U-R. But again, if you would like to do, you can totally do the outline and make it, you know, however you'd like. Um, this was just kind of to show you like different techniques that you could do. Like if you, if you didn't want to spend a lot of money on crystal, you don't have to do the outline. You could just keep it simple and do the inside. Um, or if you really wanted to make it blingy, um, you could go all out and do the full outline of each letter. So it's just all about what you prefer. You just make it your own. And then I think, did somebody have a question? I just saw, I think I saw a question come through. They did about the glue, but then Heather answered it. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to just show this, we'll give you another close up of this, just so you can kind of see. So we just did the inside of the N. And again, if you want to go for a more bling effect, you could do the outline on all the letters. Um, if you just want a little bit of sparkle, you could just do, you know, like we did here. Um, or on the mama shirt, you could go and do the sporadic kind of lettering. So. And then for anybody that wants to know how to do the little ruffle on the sleeve, um, again, this is just optional, but you're going to use this. Um, we use this glitter tool. Um, it comes in the ribbon aisle. There's a lot of different color options here as well, but it went perfectly with our letters and our crystal colors. Um, and again, it's just something a little bit extra that you can add on if you want, but it's really easy to do. Um, you're just going to measure the length of your sleeve here. So I took a little measuring tape and from top to bottom, my sleeve from here to here was five and a half inches. So double that, which would be the whole length around the armpit, which would be about um, 11 inches. So then you're going to take 11 inches and you're going to double that again. So 22 inches is going to be the total amount you're going to cut from here. And let's see. Oh, it's <laughs> so sparkly. It is so sparkly. You can't find the end. <laughs> there it is. And warning, this uh this glitter is goes everywhere, just FYI. <laughs> so let me grab my Oh, here it is. Well, anyway, so we're just going to approximate. You're going to roll out 22 inches and we're just going to give that a cut. And then you're going to fold it and make 
a little kind of loop here. So you're just going to fold it in half and then you're going to do a gathering stitch with your thread. So just take a needle and thread. What's the name of that? The tool? Yeah. Um, it's the, let's see, the brand Celebrate It, and it's the Glitter Tool. So it's six inches by 10 yards. So you get quite a bit on there. So you can use it for other projects. Um, but you're going to fold it in half, and then you're going to do a running stitch or a gathering stitch, and it's really super easy. So you're just going to do it really long. So you're going to take it and just kind of weave your needle in and out like so. I don't know if everybody can see that. Mm -hmm. And what you got, once you have it all the way through, you when you pull it, it's going to create that little ruffle. So let's see if I can get a little closer. So see how when I pull the string, it's kind of creating this little ruffle. So we're gonna do that all the way down the length that we cut. And again, this is just something that's optional. Don't have to do this part, um, but it's just something extra. If you're like if your daughter, my daughter loved, as she called it, farkle when she was little. <laughs> so she had to have farkles every day of her life. But now she doesn't like farkles. She's 17 and, you know, there's that. So, so once you do that all the way around, you're just going to kind of pull it and you'll kind of spread it out and you'll be able to kind of fit it all together once you have it on your shirt. And so when we go to sew it on our shirt, we're just going to start on this side. Cold water gentle cycle for washing the bling shirt. Yes, and um, put it inside out too, correct? Yes, inside out, delicate cycle um, if you have to wash it. But again, I would recommend um, hand washing it um, or dry cleaning. So when you go to sew it down on your shirt, not. And then you're just going to do a running stitch along the seam here. So where the sleeve meets the little bodice part, you're just going to line that edge up and sew as close to that seam as possible. And you'll do a running stitch. And all that is, is when you sew it through, you're going to go back and so kind of through what you just went, went through, if that makes sense, sorry. Um, so I got that in and then I'm gonna kind of go backwards and grab some more and just go through little by little. Obviously, if you have a sewing machine, you could do this very easily on that. Um, but for those of you who don't, hand sewing is very easy um, and this makes a really big impact. Um, so does anybody have any questions before we wrap up? I know, I think we only have like, what, three more or four more minutes. Um, I would love to get anything answered. Um, if you have any questions, um, I want to thank everybody for joining us here today. I really appreciate your time. Um, and again, if you post anything, please make sure to tag us, hashtag make it with Michaels, hashtag create with cousin and hashtag cousin DIY. Um, if you still have questions, once the video gets posted, please make sure to, to ask your questions and then one, someone from our team will definitely get back to you with any questions you may have. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. And again, um, we want to see your, your projects, so please make sure to post them. And thanks again. Sparkle on.